Tay Anderson, what are your reflections on what we're witnessing at the moment in America? We are seeing that another African-American has been unjustly murdered in one of our cities and people have had enough. Um, and we have been seeing this happen over the last decade. And now our communities across America are fed up with those who are supposed to protect and serve our communities, utilizing that power to eventually um, abuse it. And then most often are not um, held accountable for their actions. And so we're seeing just years of frustration explode here um, in America. You mentioned the past decade, but the issue of excessive police force and the disproportionate impact on the African-American community goes back long before that. And we see these kinds of cases again and again and again. What do you think is the answer to changing it once and for all? We need police reform in this country. We need to start following the other footsteps of countries around the world and really making sure that we're demilitarizing our police force. How do you find the police to deal with where you are? We uh, try to build relationships. As an elected official, I'm charged with building relationships with a diverse coalition of, of people, whether I agree with them or not. And so I try to build relationships with those that are in our law enforcement. However, I also recognize that as a black man, there are certain barriers that I walk into um, because I am not fully comfortable with uh, really operating with our law enforcement with the way that they've been treating uh, those who are part of our communities and, and the African-American community. And do you think that the police understand both that you are trying to work with them, but that also the history of these things makes you somewhat wary? I think they understand. I think that they try to respect it, but I also think that there is some learning to do. Um, I strongly believe that we need to start having uh, racial bias training for all of our officers in America. We need to start talking about when is the right place to call in law enforcement and when is not. How are the protests going there in Denver and have you had a problem with violence? We um, have had peaceful protests and then we've also had riots. Um, the riots are not sanctioned by black organizers like myself. We've asked people to please stand down, stop destroying our city. That's not what we wanted. And people are taking it into their own volition to destroy our city. And that is not what we've asked for. And these aren't more black protesters. These are white protesters that are attending our rallies that want to agitate. And so we are disgusted at times to see what's happened to our city when we've solely asked for peace and we don't want our city and our public institutions to be destroyed. What effect are the president's public comments having? The president is just adding fuel to the fire. The president is inciting the violence when he made the statement of, if you loot, you get shot. That is the statement of a leader who is trying to incite violence. And that is not the leadership we need here in this country. Tay Anderson, thank you very much for making time to speak to us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.